Hello, good day to you. I have been experiencing art block for a long time now. I took a break, but it didn't help me. So again, I'm going to paint while I'm in my art block. And if you are feeling like you cannot paint, you you are afraid to paint, just join me and I hope you will feel better. So today I'm going to use some of my masking tapes and you know try some textures. The background paint is completely dry so I'm pasting some masking tapes like you know and however um, I feel like I really do not know what I'm going to do but let's see what comes. Although I do tutorials I would personally say that go with your own style even if you are following some of the tutorials um, you can add some of your own styles own blends to the painting so if you are following my tutorial right now you can paste the masking tape in a different style and of course you can choose different colors so have you ever felt like you're stuck in your journey and you feel so tired and worn out looking back at all the steps you had taken this far and meanwhile not seeing any result for those steps those countless hours countless times countless nights you put in so much of effort and worked Yet you do not see much of a result so we all might have been in such situations right and this kind of moments will make us wonder if we are doing the right thing or should we continue what we are doing and we might also wonder what is the purpose of doing all of this even though you might have started your journey with a wonderful purpose this being in this kind of situation um, can make you forget your purpose at times I'm talking about the mental blocks and you know the um, breakdowns it's okay to feel that way and we are human beings rich with emotions and we uh, tend to feel different emotions we can definitely master our emotions and you know achieve more stable mindset but it's very natural for us human beings to go through different types of emotional um, changes that's completely normal there are lots of benefits in paying attention to the nature around us so our lord talks to us through nature so if we um listen to it we may find life lessons wisdoms and so much more one of such beautiful wisdoms is found in a seed that is sprouting so initially the seed is put underneath the soil and it is covered in darkness then it breaks and then the sprout comes out as it gets enough water and sunlight it grows into a tree so what is beautiful about a tree a tree grows a tree is stabilized when it has um, a strong roots so this can, we can relate this to our minds right when we work um, on our inner self we might become more stable and more strong so coming back to the seed again so when a seed is put underneath the soil and covered in darkness uh, then it cleaves right so this situation is so much relatable to our minds or our hearts. We might sometimes feel like we are pushed to our knees and then uh, darkness, um, uncertainty and hopelessness is surrounding ourselves. And on top of that, we might feel like our hearts are being broken and we do not know why. 
we might have felt like why all of this is happening at the same time so just like the growth of the sprout our growth can make us feel a little bit uncomfortable or maybe sometimes a lot uncomfortable and we might feel like our hearts are being broken we are in darkness confusion but it can be growth as well so you are trying to get used to something you were not so comfortable with you are exposing yourself to something better bigger than what you used to be so that might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable and it can be at times painful i'm not trying to say that growth comes with pain only but pain can mean growth as well confusion can mean growth as well sometimes so we don't have to worry all the time sometimes um we have to pay attention to ourselves to understand why we are feeling this way or maybe if you have a friend who is feeling like that sometimes you might be a lighthouse for them they might not be able to realize what they are going through but you can go and tell them and console them and let them know the truth that they are doing better while they might be wondering why everything is going wrong the arabic language has given heart a beautiful name that comes from a root that means turning or constantly changing so in arabic heart is called qalb and it means to turn so it is applicable to our physical heart which is beating every minute every second and it is also relatable to our emotional mental heart that is constantly changing so there is a beautiful dua ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qulubana ala dinik which means or the turner of the hearts um keep my heart firm in your faith or in your path so if you are already on a journey um be confident and keep on moving keep on taking those steps because like any of the destinations every step we take might not reveal the result but eventually all those steps you take will take you to the final destination which will reveal um your dream your results and everything so continue doing what you are doing and if you are planning to start something just start and experiment even be ready to fail because not trying anything is scary until i see you in next video bye